Hello. Uh, I'm at the end of the third week of the summer retreat at Plum Village in southwest France, and I'm talking to Brother Fat Lai uh, about his involvement in uh, a project uh, from Liberia, which is called the Peace Heart Alliance for Conflict Transformation. And Fat Lai is going to tell me about Plum Village's involvement in that and, and how it came about and what's going on. So, Fat Lai, uh, what can you tell me about FACT? Well, um, first of all, I, I met Christian, who's now working for FACT in Liberia, uh, as he showed up in, in Upper Hamlet for the winter retreat a couple of years ago. And uh, I got to know him. I ended up being his mentor for the, for the winter retreat. And I learned his extraordinary story. And I learned about his, a his aspiration to help the people of Liberia with a practice of mindfulness, which had helped him so much. And I knew a little bit about Liberia from a documentary called Pray the Devil Back to Hell, which is uh, an extraordinary thing. And, and so I was aware of the the suffering and then I learned from Christian what he'd been through and I saw the effect, the impact that the practice had, had had on his life and how he was able to, uh, just with a very small amount of understanding uh, how to come back to the breath, was, uh, as it was able to uh, transform his uh, alcohol problem, uh, his any Re reactivity he would have in the domestic situation, he was able to calm himself, and he was able to bring uh, bring also this message to ex-combatants and child soldiers who respected him because he'd been through the war and he'd been a general. And so it was an extraordinary thing, and to see, witness what happened for him in terms of uh, his transformation and healing during the time he, he's had. And now he's come back this summer, like a couple of years later, and you, f you feel, in Christian, that the practice is working at him at a very deep level, and he's able more and more to be able to uh, bring, bring the practice to his people. But what we also wanted is other people working with him who have been very inspired themselves as well by what's happened for Christian to be able to to come to Plum Village and experience uh, it for themselves. So um, you've got Harper, his colleague, and Christian here for the summer retreat. Um, describe for people who don't necessarily know what mindfulness would have to do with conflict transformation. Wh wh what is it that's going on here that can help people like Christian and Harper do their work and also work for themselves? So one of the things Harper told me was that what he, he liked about mindfulness, he, Harper's the executive director of the FACT organization, was that it's also about the person that wants to do the peace work taking care of themselves. So what they learn is how to take care of themselves their em and to take care of their emotions, their stress, and to connect back with themselves so that they can be more fresh and stable and solid and then and experience more peace in their body and be able to enjoy peace. You know, a lot of the problems in a post-war environment are that the people, they don't, they're so used to war, they don't, they actually are not comfortable with peace. And to be able to have the capacity to enjoy peace, I mean, this is what they're, they're learning and that's what they're bringing. And uh, just by the simple sound of a bell that they're bringing into Liberia, people are experiencing the peace of three mindful breaths. And Christian and, is, and Harper have been able to convey that. And um, a last question, uh, Brother Fat Lai, if you permit. Um, just a, a, a huge question, just for a short answer, I realize. Um, your teacher, uh, Tai Nhat Han uh, was forged in the Vietnam War and brought this practice out of it and, and Plum Village. Um, describe how that leap from a place of incredible violence and conflict to Plum Village and mindfulness. Describe how that takes place and is it available for everyone? 
you know, what Tai wanted to do most was rebuild love, restore love in and community, build a, build a uh, community based on on love and understanding. And he, if we have a community based on love and understanding, there is hope for a, a nation built on that. And where there is a nation, where there is love and understanding, there is going to be less conflict, both at the family level, if we can take care of the individual level, at the family level, it leads to, you know, it sort of ripples out and it can lead to the whole of society. So what we, you know, we want is a mindful nation. And Tai starting, uh, started with himself, as in he encourages us to start with ourselves find peace in ourselves, and then there's possibility for peace in the world and the insight was I is absolutely uh, clear you know and and very profound and it's something that is practical because we can start here thank you very much for that brother fat lie i know that we could talk for hours um, but we're just going to talk for a couple of minutes this time but thank you and uh, so if you want to find out more about FACT or about Plum Village, we'll give you the details in the description of the video.